Congratulations, Rico. You have made it to the final four. You will have the chance to present your collection in the final fashion show. When I looked at the show, I loved how they portrayed me. They portrayed me as this very egotistical cat that finished really quick and had this spicy mouth that I made America laugh. And it was very interesting to tune in every, you know, Thursday. The first time I actually could remember um, my whole thing experiencing fashion. I was about eight years old and I remember sitting in front of the television watching Oprah and I saw this man with this orange skin, this dome-shaped hairdo and later to find out he was Valentino and I remember I had a sketch pad because my mother is an artist. So that was basically my first really experienced with fashion. Graduated high school and went on to college. I basically started styling young ladies and, and actually guys as well for pageants like Mr. and Miss TSU. And after I graduated, I migrated to Atlanta, Georgia where I had a small clientele and the rest is history. And when you look at my style, it kind of goes all hand in hand. Um, as far as the architecture and how it relates to fashion, for engineering, we was taught to think critically, to think the easiest way to do something to get the most effective product. So that's why I'm extremely fast um, and have a strong, powerful product because I think critically, I think about it before I, I actually um, indulge myself into the product and it always come out very tailored, very streamlined, very, I really focus on the quality of my garment and it doesn't matter if I'm using $2 fabric or $200 fabric. It's about the quality and the construction of your garment. Rico Chappelle and House of Chappelle is two different lines. And basically the House of Chappelle umbrellas everything in my, my company. Rico Chappelle is my signature design, which is everything that's high end. Um, and the House of Chappelle is more a lower end, maybe like a bridge line. Some of my past celebrity clients, um, I actually styled T.I. and Nesby, which I um, styled and made her garments for her album cover. Uh, Ricky Smiley, Tracy McGrady, Vivica Fox. Um, some of my present clients um, are Michelle Williams, um, Gucci Man, um, and I actually I'm in the present right now. I'm working on a gown for Mrs. Obama. Chattanooga's next top model is about discovering new talent within Chattanooga. Actually, a bit, one of my best friends, Tanika Blackman, she's been an Ebony Fashion Fair model for about the past six or seven years. And she was like the last good thing to come out of Chattanooga. And I remember when we was growing up, we all modeled together. It was a lot of things for us to do in the community. And now there's nothing for the kids to do. So I opened the age bracket and we had um, a young ladies to come out and compete for Chattanooga's Next Top Model. And basically um, the prizes are $500 photo shoot for whoever sells the most ads and the face of Studio 423, which is my boutique. Where do I wanna take my line? I wanna take my line strictly to the top. Um, I wanna be next to Dior and Neiman Marcus. I wanna be next to Zach Pose and I wanna be next to Donna Karen um, and my own flagship store soon. Fashion show.